you so much for watching today's video. In today's video, I'm going to start things off by using my CeraVe facial wash with my Dovali brush. This brush is going to allow me to remove dirt, oil, previous makeup, and dead skin cells off my face before I apply my face makeup. Now I'm going to wash my face using warm water. I highly recommend that you guys check out this Dovali set. It will be linked down below for you guys. It is great if you're looking for something more efficient. Next, I'm going to apply this lip tint in the color Pure Pink by Old Blossom. I've been using this for almost a year now and I've repurchased this product so many times. It is so easy to apply and remove and it lasts about two days. Another product that I love is this Skin Renewing Retinol Serum by CeraVe. This product has helped me build more confidence in my skin because it helps me smooth out any texture on my face as well as help me minimize any pores. In the fall and winter time, my skin tends to be more dry, so I will go in with this moisturizer with SPF 50 by Seraphil. Not only helps me bring moisture back to my skin, this also helps me protect my skin from any exposure. Now it's been about 5 minutes, I am going to go ahead and remove this lip tint. As you guys can see, it is very easy to remove and it's actually more subtle than it looks, which I really like. If you can't tell, I am wearing clustered lashes. These typically last me about three to four days, sometimes up to a week max. Um, as you guys can see, I apply them underneath and or, or on top of my natural lashes. These are by Boulder Mincer. They come with any four pieces and I highly recommend that you guys check them out. For concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC30 with my Real Technique Beauty Blender. Now throughout the years, I've tried other concealers, but I always go back to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Now as you guys can see, I am applying directly underneath my eyes. I am not going to apply a foundation underneath my eyes because I don't think that I need too much coverage and this is definitely going to help avoid creasing. For foundation, I am going to use the Clinique Sheer Tint Hydrator with SPF 25 in the color Universal Light Medium. Not only is this going to help me protect my skin from exposure, it is very blendable, lightweight, and it makes my skin feel hydrated. To help me sculpt and enhance my features, I am going to use the Cream Contour Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Light. I am using the color Java and applying it to the necessary eras as well as using the brush to help me blend everything out. I am obsessed with contouring because it helps me blend in my hair with my face. Whenever I feel a bit dull or I would like to brighten up my face, I will go ahead and take the color Banana from the Cream Contour Kit and apply it underneath my eyes and on my nose. To help me set my contour, I am going to go ahead and use this powder bronzer in the color Settle by Anastasia Beverly Hills with my Real Technique brush. This is going to be applied to any areas that I contour. To set my under eye, I am going to use the HD Finishing Powder by NYX Cosmetic in the color Translucent. I don't use too much powder underneath my eyes, just so I can avoid creasing. To make sure everything is nice and blended, I am going to go ahead and take this e.l.f. brush and blend all over my face. To add more color and to help me blend my contour with the center of my face, I'm going to go ahead and use the Ulta Beauty Mineral Blush in the color Quince Cocktail using this large Real Technique brush on the very top of my cheeks. Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and take this loose powder in the color Banana Bread by Huda Beauty. This is going to help me clean out the area as well as make my cheeks appear lifted.
and voila this is the final look guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't i will talk to you guys next time and please leave any questions or comments down below i'll talk to you soon bye